Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror, back again with another haunt review. And I got it right on the first try. You did. You didn't see the 16 takes previously where I had to get young used to saying haunt weekly. That was on the first one. Shh, I know, I know. But anyways, very glad to have you back because this time around we're talking about Rise Haunted House in Tickfall, Louisiana. Yes. And this is a complicated review. Yeah, I could um, say that. It's, okay, because there's two caveats we have to go into before we actually talk about the haunt. Right. One is our fault. Yes. One is Mother Nature's fault. Yes. The first, our fault, is... We were assholes and showed up on <laughs> opening night and opening hour. Yeah, basically within 20 Sorry. minutes of opening. <laughs> well, you know, and the issue there is we're haunters. As you can see from our Spartan walls here that still haven't been flipping painted. We yes, know. but they know why. They know why already. I know, I know. But the point is... It was the only time we could realistically go. Right. We have to do the rise and the 13th gate run at the same time. It's the only way it's practical to hit both for us. And that was the day that was best to do it. Yeah. Sorry to say, I know it's unfair to rise. I know it's unfair to 13th gate, too. We were there on the second day. Yeah. But the point remains, it was the best time for us. And also, it allows us to get these reviews out earlier in season. Right, which can, hopefully helps them. Hopefully helps them and helps other people that might be trying to choose what off they want to go to. Yeah. That's caveat one. Caveat two is Mother Nature was kind of a bitch. Yeah. Um, a little bit of one. So, a smidge of one. So, we kind of made national news. The, the region the, did, not the us. Region. I was going to say the region. You just didn't let me get there. All right. But, yeah. Um, so, we found out that Rise actually took about 18 inches of water during the, the recent flood. flooding in southeast Louisiana mm -hmm. um, and of course it was very poorly timed flooding for haunts for haunted attraction right because it's right during that run up before you open right they were put about by their own admissions about two weeks behind yeah. on haunt construction and they really busted ass to um, get this haunt open and get it out the door Right. And, you know, right off the bat, I want to say kudos for the work they did. Yeah. I, I am personally amazed and got mad respect. Yeah, and if you were watching this before, like, the second week of October, they do have a third attraction opening, as Asylum. An asylum, yes. And it was not open when we went. We plan on going back and, and looking at if it. If time allows us, of course. Yeah. Little caveats there. Yeah. That's very caveat loaded. But, yes, it is. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. You like that word. That's why. Caveat. Um, <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so it wasn't available to be open because of the flooding. Yeah, they took about, like I said, 18 inches of water in most of the attractions. Massive respect for being able to rebound from that and getting this haunt open on time. Right. And I gotta say, going through it, I did not see any evidence of flood damage. I didn't, I, I actually well, looked. Yeah, but you know, how would you tell in a haunted attraction? In a haunted attraction Flood damage versus, you know, weathering on purpose. Ambiance, as we like exactly. to say. Exactly. word. Okay, fair enough. But anyway, so those were the two caveats. So we admit that this is automatically something unfair. Right. And part of opening night, they did have some issues. Yes. Um, they had a delayed opening opening night. Right. Because some of their special effects, which unfortunately we didn't get to see. I heard they were awesome. <laughs> um, were setting off the fire alarm, and they had to deal with that. Right. That was a problem. And so they had some issues. They also had issues with the new ticketing system that they're right. using. Um, so they had some issues. But as for the haunt itself, I was actually pretty darn impressed overall. Yeah, it's um, so far out of the three we've been to, yes. it's the one I enjoyed the most. Yeah, and, and it's weird for me to say that because I was actually injured in this haunt. I, yes, you were. Basically, going um, through a sequence and through a doorway, so a 32-inch wide door... They had a refrigerator that was being, an actor was doing stuff. If you've in the been inside. there before, you you know what the refrigerator the, yeah, does. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in the kitchen sequence. And the door swung open, and then it intruded. So I was, I was actually almost completely through the door. Yeah. And the door came and just hit me on the back of my left elbow. It was bruised for a little bit. No permanent damage by any stretch of no, the imagination. No, no. But, and nothing getting too upset for it. It's not like that time I got concussed going through a haunt no, pretty severely. No, 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 no. But the, the point remains... Um, yeah, even in spite of that, it was still probably my favorite. They were loaded up on actors. Yeah, and I don't know if that's because they had extra actors ready for the asylum. Yes. And that might change when that opens. Yeah. And I hope it 
doesn't change too much because too. the actors were working in pairs a lot, right? And those pairings were doing a lot of great work, serving as distract and startle, right? Um, leading people in different directions and so forth. Yeah. It was actually a very, very well done scare from the actor standpoint, right? I mean, and the group that we were with was getting shaken up a lot. <laughs> yeah, they were really. They were a lot of fun to go. They through were a lot with. of fun to go through with. Um, so yeah, they they were really pulling on some great effects. There was not a lot. Um, truly new this year that I noticed. But part of that's because, A, they were working on another attraction, which we didn't get to see due to the flooding. Right. And, B, like I said, they were put behind and they were struggling to get open, period. So yeah. I, I don't want to criticize that too heavily. Right, but with the um, the extra actors, yes. it, it seemed like extra actors at least, um, it felt like a new haunt. And it felt like there was an energy in it that I did not feel last year. Right. Yeah, there, I would there agree was with a that. A real excited energy. Right. These and, guys were pumped to scare, man. Yeah. <laughs> and if you were um, ever annoyed by the graveyard sequence being damp or something, they've actually enclosed that. Yes. That That's was one the, of their big projects was enclosing the entire graveyard. Yeah, like, so, yeah, so, it's huge. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, this metal structure is like, wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking up at it going, oh, man. Yeah. So, yeah, now it is a true rain or shine attraction, too. Right. So don't let rain scare you all from going there. Yeah. The only part of it that's outside is zombie paintball and, unfortunately, most of the queue. Well, yeah. Um, but they might not be able to tackle that right now. Yeah, that, that and might, zombie yeah, paintball is an kind outdoor Kind of an outdoor thing. activity. That's yeah. always going to be an outdoor activity, yeah. I think. I'm, think. But, yeah, and we did both the haunted attraction and zombie paintball. Right. So let's spend a moment on zombie paintball. Okay. Um, what did you think about it? Um, we hadn't been in a few years. Yeah, we had And uh, last year they told us that we needed to do zombie paintball. Yeah, they, they, we were told that was the thing that we invested a lot of time and money and energy in. Right. That was what was really new. You should have gone and done it. And like I said, with the, with the way we do the rise and the 13th gate run, it's tough to do both attractions. Right. So usually if we have to pick one, we're going to do the haunt. Yep. But this time around, we made it a point to do <laughs> both. <laughs> yes, we did. And it was very different from the last time we went. Yes. I'm just going to say, I think this is true for me. I don't think this is my type of attraction. Okay. It's something I can do once in a while. Something I even enjoy once in a while. But it's like they asked us if we wanted to go back on it. Because we had some trouble right. with our guns. Nothing that I would say is out of the ordinary for an opening night jitter. No. I mean, these things happen. Yeah. And as I said, we're going to be very forgiving for things that are clearly opening night jitter issues. And right. And that's on the list. They asked if we wanted to go again. They were very, they worked with us very, very big ways yes. on that. And they would have gladly let us go a second time for free. But we said, no, thank you. We did it once. And even though it wasn't perfect, we kind of got the experience and it was right. what we needed. Right. The new sets were cool. Yeah. It's, uh, I know that. Most of the zombies were running from place to place, but it did seem like there were more of them. Yes. Um, you got a choice whether you wanted to be down on the bottom or yes. on the top of the truck so you could get a more up close and personal yeah. experience. My advice is go on the bottom personally if yeah. you can. The bottom just is genuinely the better experience, I believe. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I, I, I did like that the, that the truck this time was just one side instead of both sides. Because yeah. the, the first time we did it, it was both. Yeah, it was, it was, you, there were zombies on both sides. And inevitably, one side gets a worse show. Right. This way, everyone's getting the same show, but you're making the choice. Do you want zombies all up in your grill, or do you want to be way up high? Right. <laughs> you're making a choice. And I, I like that element of it. That was pretty cool. And like I said, yeah. the sets were good. The zombies were good. And it's like you said, yeah, we know those zombies were hauling butt from one sequence yeah. to the other. But i got to say this. This is a testament to the design of it that they were able to do that and make it feel as full as it was, felt with as few zombies as they had. Right. So there's a testament there to their design skills. Yes. So they, they, they definitely got very smart about how this attraction runs. And right. I, kudos to that. I really respect yeah. that. Um, but, yeah, I mean... A, I think Rise is a haunt worth going to because it was a good solid haunt. Mm -hmm. I'm like I said, I'm a little nervous how the actor count and how the actor you know density is gonna feel after the no attraction opens. Right. I know it's a slightly smaller attraction, but still that's gonna siphon off some of those actors. And it may siphon off some of the better ones. Yeah. Since we, we learned not. a little bit inside about it. I don't wanna like divulge it here. Yeah. But you know, what I know about it, it might siphon off some of the better actors. Right. I mean the attraction is called Asylum. Yeah. So you can figure out what it's about. It, it, it's, it, it's going to be about, and hmm, hang on, I'm, I'm going to get there. An asylum. Yeah. Maybe. Um, but yeah, so. It's going to be puppies and rainbows. <laughs> 
Yeah, just like every Han. Yes. Bringing up the puppy guy. Um, but yeah, no, A, I think it's worth going to because of that. I'm a little worried about that one issue, but I think that is something that will still be fine. I still think it would be at least a solid attraction. But also, this is a haunt that needs our industry support. Yeah. They had a very, very rough year, and they busted ass in an unimaginable way, and they got support from other haunts in the area to, right. to get open. So, you know, let's rally a little bit and show some support to these guys, man. This is the time to do it. Right, and we should mention, new from last year, is they do have escape rooms also. Yes. So there are actually going to be four things that you can do there, so it's an all-night trip now. Yeah, yeah it, it really is. And one of the cool things is, unlike the mortuary, the escape rooms are in a different building so that they are running simultaneously to the haunt. Yep. In fact, you could in fact you could buy tickets for all three at one time. I don't think there's... Oh, well, three to the night we went. Yeah. Because the asylum's not open. You yeah. will be able to buy yes. tickets for four okay. at the same time. <clears throat> we only could buy three at one time. Yes. But yeah, we're going to do escape rooms. So we're planning an escape room run later. We're going to get some more people together yeah. and do an escape room thing. Hopefully Closer sometime. Closer to the end of the year. End of the year, maybe the beginning of the new year. And when we do that, review time will begin early next year. Um, and then there'll be a long break again. Then there'll be a long break again. But yes. But yeah, no, Rise, I think, was was kind of a surprise. Last yeah. year, it left us a little down, a little disappointed. Right. And I was really worried about how they would recover and bounce back. But yeah. damn it, they didn't do it. Yeah, and it's kind of like I felt about them two years ago. Yeah. I'm looking forward to going back next year. Yeah, it, it's one I'm those, looking forward to going back in two weeks. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, they find ways to rebound from their off years, and that, I think, is more important than making every year absolutely perfect for a haunt that's going to be open for a long time. Yeah, because you got to learn from your mistakes you, and move on. Yeah, you can't do it. Bigger and else. better. So, Rise, congratulations on busting ass and getting open and having a great haunt. Also... Thanks again to Leanne. Yes. <laughs> we still love her. She is yeah. such a charmer. We, we appreciate her being there every time we go to Rise. Guys, check it out. Support and, the industry. Support them. Yes. And, we're gonna and if Leanne does give you directions, remember to follow them. She's yes. not okay. lying. Yeah, that is the one. <laughs> Dang, you just reminded me something I forgot. And that was there was an incident where our group did get lost. Yeah. Maybe there's a little opportunity for some better design toward the end there near the hearse. Yeah. But other than that, stellar haunt all around. She, she did try. She tried so <laughs> Y'all need to go see, what was his name? Cousin? Cooter. Cooter or something. You need yeah. to go see Cousin Cooter. And everyone's just, <laughs> wrong. and I'm just like. Trying to go well, the other way. I'm like, the group's <laughs> going this way. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, maybe a little bit something there, but still. That's how well the actor runs were hidden, though. Yeah, it is. So we'll there you go. There we go, another testament. All right. Well, on that note, everyone, thank you very much for joining us. And once again, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this was Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2016 for Rise Haunted House in Tickfall, Louisiana. We will return to Rise for the Asylum Review coming up in a few weeks when it is open. See you next time.